There's a claim that Black Lives Matter partnered with a pro-communist China group. But wait, is that true? Welcome back to America Uncovered. I'm Chris Chappell. Is Black Lives Matter connected with a communist Chinese group? Well, it's time once again for our popular segment. Wait, is that true? The Daily Signal is the news platform of the Heritage Foundation, a conservative think tank. Last week, the Daily Signal published this article. This BLM co-founder and pro-communist China group are partnering up. Here's why. Why would they partner up? Communism. Filthy communism. That's right. This article connects Black Lives Matter, the ongoing protests and riots throughout the United States, and the Chinese Communist Party. Why? According to the article, they espouse the same desire for world communism. Okay, but has real communism ever been tried? Yes, it has. Didn't work that well for everyone. Anyway, the Daily Signal article went viral on conservative websites and spawned reports from other media. The New York Post, The Washington Examiner, Fox News. But it turns out there's a big problem. How does this article connect BLM and the Chinese Communist Party? It begins here on the website of Black Futures Lab. Black Futures Lab is a project of BLM co-founder Alicia Garza. Its mission is to transform black communities into active, interdependent, responsive public partners that change the way power operates at the local, state, and national level. Of course, changing the way power operates requires money. It always does. Which is why there's a donate button. And on the donation page, you see this. Black Futures Lab is a fiscally sponsored project of the Chinese Progressive Association. What does that mean? Well, nonprofit organizations can become a fiscal sponsor of projects or organizations that don't have nonprofit status themselves. That means all of the money donated to Black Futures Lab actually gets donated to the Chinese Progressive Association which then gives the money back to Black Futures Lab. So, what is the Chinese Progressive Association, or CPA? Well, according to a 2009 Stanford University paper, thoughtfully republished here on the Marxist Internet Archive, the CPA began in 1972 as a leftist, pro-People's Republic of China organization, promoting awareness of mainland China's revolutionary thought and workers' rights, and dedicated to self-determination, community control, and serving the people. Because when I think of the Chinese Communist Party, I think of serving the people. But the Daily Signal doesn't just say that the CPA is pro-Chinese Communist Party. The really explosive allegation is that the CPA is directly linked to the CCP and supports their agenda in the U.S. I'll show you how after this short break. Welcome back. The Daily Signal alleges that the Chinese Progressive Association is directly linked to helping the Chinese Communist Party in the U.S. It says, the CPA continues to be a partner of the People's Republic of China in the United States. Three years ago, the Boston chapter teamed up with China's Consulate General in New York to offer Chinese nationals the opportunity to renew their passports. That effort was even praised by Chinese state-run media. The CPA also sponsored the raising of the PRC's flag for the first time ever over Boston City Hall to honor the takeover of China by the Chinese Communist Party. That event was also organized by the Chinese consulate, the one in New York because there is no consulate in Boston. And that event attracted a lot of protesters. Protesters joined in Boston to oppose the 70th anniversary of the People's Republic of China and the Chinese flag raising outside of City Hall Plaza. So according to the Daily Signal, 
the CPA definitely has ties to the Chinese Communist Party. And it's been well established that the Chinese Communist Party uses front groups in the United States to push their agenda. The Daily Signal article then goes on to talk about the political views of Black Lives Matter co-founder Alicia Garza. According to another Black Lives Matter co-founder, Patrice Cullors, they're both trained Marxists. Here she is in a 2015 interview. Um, myself and Alicia in particular are trained organizers. Um, we uh, are trained Marxists. Um, we are uh, super uh, versed um, on sort of ideological theories. Alicia Garza is not only a co-founder of Black Lives Matter, but she's also behind the movement for black lives. The About Us says, we are anti-capitalist. We believe and understand that black people will never achieve liberation under the current global racialized capitalist system. And here's Garza in a 2015 speech at the Left Forum, an annual conference of left-wing activists. It's not possible for a world to emerge where black lives matter if it's under capitalism. And it's not possible to abolish capitalism without a struggle against national oppression and gender oppression. The theme for that year's Left Forum was confronting the crises of capitalism and democracy. And the program called for radical solutions that entail a major reevaluation of capitalism's viability. So what are we supposed to make of all this? The Daily Signal says, it is clear then that the Chinese Progressive Association works with China's communist government, pushes its agenda here in the United States, and is regularly praised by China's state-owned mouthpieces. It is clear too from this perspective why the CPA would sponsor a new enterprise by BLM founder Alicia Garza. They espouse the same desire for world communism. But there's a big problem with that statement and this story. I'll tell you what it is after this short break. Welcome back. As I said, this article points to the Black Futures Lab donation page that says Black Futures Lab is a fiscally sponsored project of the Chinese Progressive Association. And then the article talks about the connections between the Chinese Progressive Association and the Chinese Communist Party. But the problem is, there are several different organizations called the Chinese Progressive Association. And the Chinese Progressive Association in San Francisco that sponsors Black Futures Lab is not the same one as the Chinese Progressive Association in Boston that has worked with the Chinese consulate. They have the same name in English, but not in Chinese. And if you look at their tax records, it's clear that they are separate organizations with separate EIN numbers. So the argument that the co-founder of BLM has teamed up with an organization with ties to the Chinese government suddenly evaporates. Is it possible that the San Francisco CPA has its own ties to the Chinese government? Sure. But despite the fact that it was set up as a pro-PRC organization, it doesn't currently follow the MO of typical Chinese Communist Party front groups. Those are usually dedicated to spreading a positive image of China. And while the San Francisco CPA is clearly a progressive organization, the Chinese Communist Party doesn't actually care about progressive politics. They care about getting people to like and support the PRC. We weren't the only ones to figure this out. The New York Times reached out to the Daily Signal for comment, and Mike Gonzalez, the article's author, said in an emailed statement that the historical ties between the two organizations was actually fairly clear, and that they were united around shared goals. And it's true that according to the Stanford paper I mentioned earlier, the original San Francisco CPA was the first of five CPAs, and in the next 10 years, other CPAs were established in New York, Boston, Los Angeles, and for a short time in San Diego as well. You can see why this is confusing. But according to their tax forms, legally, the Boston CPA and the San Francisco CPA 
are two separate organizations. The organizations have also said they're unrelated. After this fact-checking was made public, the Daily Signal updated their article to clarify that the Boston CPA is the one that is linked to the Chinese consulate. But they continue to treat the two organizations as the same. So where does that leave us? Well, the co-founder of BLM, Alicia Garza, is clearly a trained Marxist who believes in overthrowing capitalism. One of her organizations has financial ties to a progressive, historically pro-PRC organization. But that organization is not the one that has directly worked with the Chinese consulate. So even though Alicia Garza and the Chinese Communist Party may share a bit of Marxist ideology, there doesn't appear to be any direct links between them. And that does it for this episode of Wait. Is that true? If you like the show, you can support what we do on the crowdfunding website Patreon. For as little as a dollar an episode, you can help us keep the show going. Visit patreon.com slash America Uncovered to learn more. Once again, I'm Chris Chappell. See you next time.